Mining magnate Clive Palmer has unveiled more details about his plan to build a giant replica of the Titanic. Queensland's richest man has been showing off the designs at an event in New York overnight. It's part of a world tour to drum up business for this really ambitious project. So we'll have tickets where you can have it's about six day crossing of the Atlantic, so you'd have two days in third class, two days in second class and two days in first class. It'll be a little bit more expensive during that because you'll get three sets of outfits. The cruise ship will be built in China. All being well, it's due to set sail in 2016 with more lifeboats than the original, which is comforting. Our US Bureau Chief Mike Amor joins us from New York. Mike, um, what else has Clive Palmer revealed about the plans? Koshi, uh, he was quite a colourful character this morning, as you know, and I'm not sure the Americans mm. really uh, knew what to take, uh, thought what, <laughs> what to take of him uh, this morning uh, when he was there unveiling the plans for Titanic 2. Uh, he revealed that there'll be three classes, and yes, they won't be able to mix with each other, and as that grab just suggested, they will get um, period costumes when you check in, so you can really uh, feel like you're gone back to 1912. There won't be internet, there won't be TV, there won't be phones, um, but there will be some modern conveniences. They'll have an extra deck that will have a casino and a movie theatre. Uh, uh, they will also, as you mentioned, have a life raft and, um, and modern conveniences like air conditioning. Um, he did say that, it, he wouldn't say that it was unsinkable. He said that uh, every ship is sinkable, but he said, jokingly, one of the benefits of global warming is there's not as many icebergs out there anymore. <laughs> Well, it's sort of like a, um, a giant six-day theatre experience, a bit like Dirty Dicks on steroids, as we all grew up with. How, how much is a <laughs> ticket likely to cost? He wouldn't reveal, but he did say 40,000 people had already inquired about going on the maiden voyage, which will be towards the end of 2016. Building is due to start the end of uh, this year in China. Um, 16 people apparently had been willing to pay up to a million dollars to ensure they're on that maiden voyage. He thinks that it's going to be very successful. He scoffed at suggestions that this is all pie in the sky stuff. Uh, he says he has bucket loads of money, his words, not mine, and he will keep spending until it's built, Koshi. OK, well, he's, he's, a big, he's a big dreamer and he does get things done, that's for sure. All right, Mike, thank you for that. Here's Sam. <laughs>